And continuing our big rescue efforts, I have some good news to share with you. Remy the Pitbull is doing okay. He's going to be okay. Arriving at Justice Rescue Sanctuary just yesterday. How he got there, though, this is what is so stomach-turning. I want to show you Remy just three weeks ago. Left for dead by, obviously, some really awful people that police are still looking for, we should point out. Look at this. A couple teenagers found him. He was shivering. He was scared. He was broken. I want to show you some other photos, too. And, and I want to forewarn you here because I don't want you to be taken off guard, but it's important that we show these. He had bite marks just all over his body. He clearly suffered tremendous abuse, and rescuers believe Remy was used as bait, a bait dog for dog fighting. So let's talk to uh, Russ Wolf Harper. He's co-founder of Justice Rescue Sanctuary, and look who he has in his lab. He's got Remy. So I want to thank you so much, Wolf, for being with us and for what you're doing for this dog and for, and for all the other dogs. I'm looking at him, and I see all these marks on his head. Um, is, is that just a discoloration based on him, or are those scars? Those are all scars. Um, what you see is, you know, predominantly his head. His body is just completely covered. There's not a real place on his body that's not tore up. So it's, uh, how, it's very sad that he's that he suffered this, but he's such a good boy, as you can see. I was going to say he seems to be very comfortable in your lap. Yeah, he's definitely a lap dog. That's you know, that's that's something that a lot of, of uh, a lot of people don't know is just because they've been in fighting and and been abused doesn't mean that they aren't just like your family home. That, so I mean, you, he's one. You believe that he can be he can have a full recovery physically and emotionally. I do. You know, you know, only time will tell. He'll stay with me for a long period of time in the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. um, we have to take a long time and, and show him love and so show him, you know, good socialization and let him know that nobody is going to hurt him. But uh, he's been nothing but a love since I have him. Oh, I, I want you to make that point again for us, uh, really a little more elaborately about how just because a dog has been used in dog fighting. Um, uh, at that point, can he ever be adopted by a family, do you think? If I don't keep him myself, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you might keep we him have... yourself. Yeah, I've rescued thousands of animals, and uh, and he, he and I have a special bond, so we'll see if he stays with me. Well, how, well let's, let us know, how can we help you? Um, you know, what you're doing now is very important, is getting the awareness out that you know, dog fighting and animal abuse is not okay. Not okay by any means at all. Um, you know, they feel the same pain, they feel the same hunger, they feel the same cold, um, and, and emotion and love. And you know, they fight because their owners want them to, not because they want to. They want to please their owners, and you know, pit bulls get a very bad name based upon the cowards and abusers that do to, do this to them. So getting the awareness out. Is, is very important that this is not okay and this needs to be reported to the police. Speaking of that, I understand that you have a $5,000 reward uh, to anyone who can help find the people who did this to him. Do you have any leads yep. right now? Um, there, there's a couple that we're following up on, but nothing to be specific. And how closely uh, might law enforcement be helping you in this? Um, we're actually humane police officers ourselves. Okay. So, you know, we're leading the investigation, and we work with the state police, the district attorney, and the local police. So we're all a huge team trying to find out who did this to Remy, but not only who did this to Remy, but who is actually abusing and fighting dogs. We do the full investigations. Right, because he is, is one that was let go, but we don't know what else is going on for other dogs uh, who might be in it. Again, Russ Wolf Harper, uh, yep. Justice Rescue Sanctuary, if you feel it in your heart at all to help, please just go ahead and, and find them online. We have so appreciate it, Wolf, everything that you do for those dogs and for Remy. Thank you for being with us. Thank you very much for, for spotlighting on us today.